Welcome back YouTube, you have Ahmed again from In-Depth Thick Reviews and another video about Google Camera version 7 and this time I'm gonna show you how to activate the astrophotography feature and take impressive shots of the stars. Keep in mind that this is a new APK for version 7 that unlocks the feature so you need to have this first on your phone and the download link will be in the description. But don't just download it and try it because it will not work without knowing how to use it. There are certain instructions that you need to follow exactly the same way I'm gonna mention in this video to be able to activate the feature. So I'm gonna show you this now but before getting started let's make sure you subscribe hit the bell icon to get notified every time I post a new video. So let's jump in. Now let me tell you what are the steps you need to follow to be able to use the astrophotography feature. First, you need to download this APK of Google Camera version 7. The link will be in the description. And as you see now, I have two separate camera icons, one for the 6.3 version, the normal one that comes with Android 10, and the other one is for Google Camera version 7. And to confirm that you are on the correct version, just swipe down, Go to settings, scroll to the bottom, and you will see a new option called developer settings. When you go to the to developer settings, you will see plenty of things here. Don't mess around with them because I did that and I crashed the whole app. Uh, so keep scrolling until you see something called cuttle. You will see more than one option called camera.cuttle, camera.cuttle average, camera.cuttle darken, extended, and so on and so forth. So all the features that's called the cuttle is related to the astrophotography. And you will see some of them are already ticked, which allows the feature to get activated on the device. After making sure you are using the correct APK that unlocks the feature, you have to use a tripod because the phone has to be 100% steady to allow the feature to get activated. So if you are holding the phone in your hands, uh, and you have a very steady hands, the phone is still very sensitive and it can detect the very tiny movements of your hands and it will not allow the feature to get activated. So I'm gonna show you a real life scenario here. I'm gonna put the phone on a very steady table, the one I'm using now. I'm gonna hit the shutter key and you see now something different. You have a counter in the middle that count starts at 15 and then counting down, you have a new text called capturing cuttlefish and the shutter key turns to stop. It takes about one minute and eight seconds for the image to be captured. However, if you hit the stop key in the middle of capturing the photo, still the phone will take the image, but it will not be as good as the one taken after one minute and eight seconds. So the more time you give it, the better quality you get. Now to show you a real life scenario of taking an astrophotography image, I'm gonna use my tripod. I have one here from Benro. It has a very high quality and it's very stable. And I attached to it uh, a mobile holder. And I'm gonna uh, try that in my apartment balcony to show you how it works. So let's get started. As you see here, it's fairly dark and I did set up my tripod this way, pointing the phone towards the sky. And I'm using a mobile flash to show you how it looks. So enough with the setup and let's start by taking a photo of the stars. Thankfully, the weather is clear today and the stars are showing. But before taking the shot, there are two things I recommend doing first. It's better to set the focus to infinity and the timer to 3 seconds. That's to be more assured that the astrophotography feature will work. However, it works anyways without doing so. But try to be gentle while hitting the shutter key to avoid moving the device. Now you see a stopwatch at the top to show you how long it will take. Keep in mind that it takes a long time to finish so it's not meant for taking photos of people. Also it works with landscapes, not only the sky. No matter what lighting condition you have, all you need to do to get it working is to put your device on a tripod. And I will show you some images to compare astrophotography with the normal night sight. So here it took exactly 1 minute and 6 seconds and the results are absolutely worth waiting. Now I took my phone out of the tripod to avoid triggering the astrophotography and took the same image using the normal night sight. 
Now I have both images, so let's see how they are compared. At the first glance, the one taken using the astrophotography is brighter and both show the stars. But wait, when you zoom in, there is a totally different story here. On the left, there are a lot more stars than the one taken using the normal night sight. Also, the sky is not grainy like the one on the right. So overall, the astrophotography image looks much better and this is a huge improvement over the normal night sight. Let's see another one. Again, the same scenario. The astrophotography image has a lot more stars, the sky is less grainy and the colors are better. Now let's do another comparison between both features, but this time in capturing landscapes. So I chose a dark area around the house and I fixed my mobile on a tripod to trigger the astrophotography and another one using my hands to use the normal night sight to see if it makes any difference in landscapes too. In this image, they might look similar, but when you zoom in a lot, you will see the difference in details. So the astrophotography image looks a lot sharper, showing a lot more details. And here are other images too. So that's pretty much it for today and now you know how good the astrophotography is and how to get it on your current pixel phone. So please let me know in the comments if it worked with you or not. And if you like my video please hit the thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.